Hey everyone, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you my uh, experience with the Brush or Crystal Colors by Colorcraft. These are amazing colors. They come in over 30 shades. I have 26 of them. And I did this really cool card using them. And I will show you not only what the colors look like, but also how to make that card. Originally, I purchased one set and I was going to do my video on that one. But I loved it so much I decided to buy a couple more sets. So it took me a few days to finish the video. The first set has the instructions and also it includes a small spritzer bottle. The other sets did not have the bottle. This one has six different colors and it already includes the stickers on the top. The other ones did not. And what you see me doing here is creating little holes on the top so I could use the bottle like a shaker. This is set number two, it does not have stickers. And on these I decided to do just one hole on the top. Um, I realized that one is enough and it's perfect uh, to later cover with a push pin, which you will see will also hold my little swatch that I will make here with watercolor paper. And I will uh, be punching these with a small flower punch and then secure it to the bottle using a clear push pin. And I'm sorry this video is not very bright. I guess my camera settings didn't quite like that very white background. I will adjust it for next time. But um, these colors are very bright, very vivid. And uh, I know it's kind of hard to see in this video. But at least you can see my very tan arms. <laughs> I've been going to the pool with my daughter almost every day this summer. It's been lots of fun. I hope you are having a good summer as well. And this here is my third set. This one has 12 colors. And once again, the bottles do not have uh, the sticker on the top, so you have to make your own if you want to be able to see it from above. And um, I'm using watercolor paper to create the swatches. And this is how the bottles look after I apply the uh, push pin and the little swatch that I made. It's a lot easier to see the colors when you're creating. And now that I have it set up, it's time to play. I wanted to experiment and see different types of um, the coloring that you can do with them. I apply them to um, water, I apply them dry and then add water. I just kind of played around and see how all these colors reacted with each other and by themselves. This was a lot of fun and it is so soothing to me to see all these colors disperse and you see the little crystals. Um, so, and one thing that is cool about these is that even though it's, let's say, a red color, with the, the actual powder has many other colors that make up that red. So um, if you do not disturb it too much, you are able to see all those different pigments. So this is uh, one of my favorite um, coloring tools now, just because of um, all the different shades and colors that you can get out of one single sprinkle. So I definitely recommend you check these out. Um, you can create very cool backgrounds very quickly. And of course, not two will be the same, which is part of the fun. Um, as you can see, these um, I'm making just some backgrounds for tags. This is regular cardstock, it's not watercolor cardstock, but since it takes so very little water, um, you can get away with using regular cardstock on some projects. This one here, I tried to experiment and put some foam squares just to see if the color would, would adhere to the um, glue side, and it did just a little bit. And what I decided to do after uh, was to add some um, glitter, 
uh, you can use fine or chunky glitter for this and then you've created a really fun background ready for me to put a sentiment and uh, just and whenever you get these just experiment and see how different um, techniques work for you these are the tags that are, are made very quickly and ready uh, to be used and these are the really cool backgrounds that um, I, I made just by um, um, mixing different colors together and now I'm ready to apply all that I learned and make a card I am using Alton new stamps this one's called framed and it's such a cool set it has different uh, frames that you can use together or by themselves and um, I will heat emboss so I use clear embossing using my printing baron which is so helpful whenever you're trying to um, make that impression on the cardstock I will of course put the link below and um, after you emboss the first one with clear embossing powder I use the smaller frame inside the bigger frame and once again uh, heat embossed it now I'm ready to add some color so um, by the way this is watercolor paper that I'm working on and I will also put the link to the type of watercolor paper that I'm using I put some water with my brush on the cardstock and just used uh, different colors this one here is rose red which is super vibrant and um, another cool thing that you can do with these is if if it's too bright or too dark for you all you need to do is add more water or just kind of blot it with a paper towel and the colors um, become more muted so uh, there's many different options with these colors And if you want to interlap different colors, then you wait for the color in the back to dry a little bit and then put a new color on top. And that will create these amazing layers for you. If you do it while it's wet, most likely the colors will blend together and give you a different effect. Next, I am drying the cardstock and I am using Ranger's heat tool. I really love this heat tool because um, the air is super hot so it dries very quickly but does not blow your paper away so um, it's a really nice tool to have I will um, link it in the description below as well next I decided to add a little bit more um, depth to the card by using a gray SIG marker and um, just kind of blend it with water and went along the edges of all the frames I thought that this um, would give it a lot more definition to each of the frames and uh, the depth that it got was really nice so I'm really happy how that turned out and it's such a you know easy step to do so all you need to do is grab your brush dip it with water and the sig marker and go along the lines And now that my cardstock is completely dry, it's ready to be embellished and stamped on. Originally, I wanted to do the sentiment on a separate piece of paper. So I added the foam squares and adhered the panel to the card base, but then changed my mind and I stamped directly on the panel, which was a little bit more difficult to get a clear image since um, there were the foam squares behind it. So I had to fill it with some black marker so if you're uh, going to stamp directly on the panel I will suggest stamp first and then adhere it to the card base I'm using some clear sequins by pink posh and I adhere it with glaze and I also use some of their um, clear jewels 
these are so much fun and I think uh, especially when you have a very colorful background uh, clear embellishments are a really nice touch and I love using glaze for sentiment so here I'm going over the sentiment with my glaze and for a final touch I will add a few splashes of the silver silk by Fun Stamper's Journey and that completes the card I really love how the card came out I have many crafty friends so this will be perfect for one of them and um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you enjoyed seeing the different colors that you can uh, have with the brushes and the different techniques that you can use um, if you enjoyed this video I would appreciate a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment below or send me an email Thank you so much for watching, take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you next time.